times eight, sixty-four. Six times nine, fifty-four. Um, seven on six. Forty-two. Wonga Beach is north of Cairns and five minutes to the Daintree River. A beautiful spot near the beach. Yeah, you couldn't ask for better than that. So, and the kids go to Wonga Beach State School, which is five minutes away from this house. We've had four boys, four girls. Every Monday they got um, homework. After they done the writing, they have to write it three times. And then after they finish them all, and then they practice how to spell it, how to pronounce it. And then on Friday, they, the teacher test them. Yeah, yeah the, the spelling and the writing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. The research is always good. <laughs> yeah, they come home always. and tell us their results, you know, 20 out of 20, 30 yeah. out of 30. So they do spelling and maths. <laughs> Um, where we're sitting now is we have, um, in certain subject areas, we have the children at age level expectations. Um, we have some that are at age level expectations and some that are still just a little bit below their age level expectations, but the progress has been phenomenal. Um, we have uh, changed the kids from uh, shy, um, unwilling to try new things, um, reluctant to have a go for fear of shame of getting it wrong, to confident children who will take risks, which then um, forces them to push themselves, which is wonderful. Um, they have great relationships with their peers, with their teachers, um, and we have um, now got the children at a point where um, in a lot of um, academic terms, they are sitting with, with their um, same age peers. So I think that the key to the progress that the kids have made, extremely dedicated staff who are prepared to do whatever it takes, um, carers, um, all of the carers that these guys have had right from word go have had the kids' best interest at heart and the partnerships that we had between school and home um, was fabulous. The kids love learning. They are successful now in their academic pursuits, so when they come to school they know they're going to be rewarded for the effort that they've put in, that it's not so much about achieving a benchmark or a standard, it's about being better than what you were yesterday and they love it. The Groot Island children are the main ones that come every week. Um, so far I've been doing it every Tuesday for the term and it's been them most of the weeks. Um, I've definitely noticed an improvement with the kids um, while I've been doing this. They're, they spell their words out and track through the words and they're doing really well. Their confidence is improving, they're empowered. They talk to me about what they want to be when they grow up and they're talking to me about being pilots and they're talking to me about being doctors and nurses and those kind of things and that's such a wonderful gift to have been able to provide for the kids um, knowing that um, they'll be able to go back to their communities with a sense of empowerment, knowing that they can achieve whatever they want to achieve.